appreciate this group and how they work going back to April 19th in the snow globe, if you remember. Uh, the guys have done a really, really nice job, and it's uh, we've taxed them physically, we've taxed them mentally, uh, and really we, we got a lot done. Are we where we need to be? No, uh, but now's the time where we can take a break, go charge the battery, and get ready to roll uh, come July. We were fortunate to have some alumni out here today uh, to visit with us, which we felt was really important. We've talked a lot about our alumni uh, over the course of these weeks, so to be able to put some faces to the names and introduce the guys to some of these great players uh, was a big deal. And we're going to head inside and have a barbecue uh, with the team and with some of the alumni in there as well. So uh, with that, I'm happy to take any questions. Kevin, any uh, word on Denzel? Uh, no, no update uh, you know, yet. There's like a left ankle injury? I don't have enough details to say yet, but we'll, we'll update you. What was uh, your final message to like, have a nice summer? Yeah, I, I think. Well, number one is to be safe. Uh, really, you know, when, as a coach, you, you know, you, you hate when your team's traveling to all ends of the globe and, and you want everybody to be safe. You want them to have fun, like I mentioned, you want them to charge your battery, but definitely be safe and, and make great decisions when they're away from here. Uh, and then they got to come back in the best shape of their life. That's kind of what you have to do every, every time you're getting ready to start training camp. Kevin, what's the next couple of weeks look for you and the coaching staff? Uh, get away. Yeah, I think, you know, the coaches do a great job uh, and they've done a nice, really nice job this offseason. Very pleased with the work that the guys have gotten done. Uh, so now's the time to charge the battery, reconnect with the family, go make some visits, those type of things. You have vacation? Well, you have a location? Yeah, location undisclosed, Jeff, <laughs> so you don't bother me. Are any of the players invited? Since they didn't invite you, I'm guessing you're not inviting them. I re I'm respectful of their time, so I'll leave them alone. Um, Josh Jobs kind of strikes me as a genius. Is that too? Yeah, I don't know what the definition is, but he's pretty darn close. Uh, he's a really good guy. Just enjoy being around Josh. Knows a lot about football. He knows a lot about a lot also. So uh, really impressive young man. What did you see from that room in general from April? Yeah, they came very, very far uh, in the time, the nine weeks we were together. Just from a understanding of the scheme, the operation of things, the functioning of in and out of the huddle, different snap counts, different concepts. Uh, we've thrown a lot at them. We haven't uh, held back, and they've done a nice job with it, and they've worked really hard. I've asked you about uh, Jacoby Brissett before, but what have you learned about him in these nine weeks, Kevin, that you might not have known? He's, he's a good basketball player. He won our uh, shooting contest down there at the Cavs facility, so uh, I learned that. But, uh, no, he's, he's a good person. Uh, we knew that doing our homework on him, but uh, I've just been real impressed with how he prepares, how he operates in practice. Uh, he really treats it game-like. Jacoby talked about wanting to master the offense. Can you do that in 10 or 12 weeks, or is that for the summer? No, I don't think you can. I think you can introduce it. I think you can get comfortable with it. Uh, but we want, we do want to become masters of, of the offense uh, by the time week one rolls around. But it's a process, and, and you can't just plug something in the back of your head and get it. you got to work at it and spend some time with it. We've had two off seasons impacted by COVID. This first one really hasn't. What's the biggest difference? Is it just the on the field? Is it the togetherness? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you know the off season. The way we structured it uh, to make sure that we were safe in everything we did, make sure it was competitive, and made sure we had fun. And I think the guys uh, had fun. They had fun competing, pushing each other. Uh, but I, I think ultimately we got a lot of work done, but we did it in a uh, safe manner. This stands to be a pretty big year for Chad. Um, what, what have you seen from him this spring? Who, what have we seen? Jed Wilson. Oh, Jed. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I think Jed's uh, right where we need him. He's worked extremely hard this offseason. I thought he came back in really, really good shape. Uh, so it's just a continuation of that, uh, continuation of that work. And I think he'll be uh, right where we need him. Kevin, you mentioned uh, wanting to get comfortable with Deshaun and like, what he's able to do in the offense and you understanding what he can do. Are you, is that process done now or is that going to continue? No, I think, I think that's ongoing. I think anytime you add a player, you study all their tape and you, you kind of get a sense for what they're comfortable with. And then you get around the player and you talk through concepts and, and then you start to adjust. And then, you know, when we start week one to week 17, the offense evolves. You add plays. There are plays that we haven't installed. I'm sure that we're going to run next year. So it's really just trying to make sure throughout the season you're constantly searching for uh, unique ways to – get a different guy the ball, uh, unique ways on third down to get a first down. Uh, so that really is 
always evolving, but certainly with the quarterback in mind and what his comfort level is. David Bell seems to have had a really good spring and made a strong first impression. Um, just what are your observations of how he's come along here? Yeah, a very, very diligent worker. Uh, wants to be good at this, so you see him working. He, he's the guy that gets extra. He'll be in the facility at all hours, uh, working real hard with Coach O'Shea to, to refine the game. Uh, he's a rookie, so he's got plenty of, of room to grow, uh, and we'll have time to do that, but uh, he's doing a nice job. He's working hard. What have you learned about Amari Cooper that you didn't know before you guys traded for him? Well, oh, I think for anybody that first meets him, Amari's size. I mean, he is a big physical uh, player, uh, maybe not six foot six, but you see how, how strong he is. Uh, so that's been impressive just seeing how he operates on the field. And then a really impressive worker in the classroom. He's a pro's pro. Uh, I don't think he's there's anything that we've challenged him with mentally that he doesn't just get immediately. Uh, so he's, his intelligence slash football intelligence is very impressive.